Hey friends, what is up and welcome back. As you can tell, we are back again for a bookshelf tour. The last time I did one of these was years and years ago. And if you've been following my channel for the last month or so or following me on Twitter or Instagram, you will know that I got rid of a ton of my books. I'll list the video here again. But people were asking for a bookshelf tour because I posted a picture of my shelves complete and people were like, oh my god, like, where'd you get them from? Asked me a bunch of questions. So I thought it'd be cool to have a resource where I can just throw everything in one. But I'm gonna kind of go over how I set up my shelves before I show you. I don't know if I'm gonna do a voiceover. I don't necessarily know how I'm going to film this video. I'm also going to include my TBR cart. Um, all the books on my shelves except for a couple I have already read. Everything else that I haven't read is on a cart next to my bed. I'll also show you guys that as well. But my shelves themselves were purchased themselves were purchased from Ikea. They are a metal frame with glass shelving. The top shelf up here is wood and the very bottom one is wood as well. I say wood very loosely, it's more like particle board. They are pretty cheap um, for both of them together because each one is, this is one shelf and this is one shelf. There are technically two shelves on each. Um, it was 150 I think for both of them. So pretty inexpensive, about 70 bucks a piece, um, about 150, 160 with tax. They do come in two colors, they come in white and black. Um, the black were not available when I got them which is fine because I have seen online where you can remove the glass and then obviously just spray paint it any color that you would like. Also, this is a good time to say I'm sorry if the lighting goes in and out on this video. I'm hoping to get some lights to kind of shine over here so it'll be easier to see everything while I film it. But like I said, pretty inexpensive, pretty easy to assemble as well. Um, it took us about two hours, I think, to assemble both of them. Once you get down how to do it, the second one just flies by. Um, you do need quite a bit of tools that Ikea, normally they give you everything that you need, um, but when we were assembling it, there was a couple of tools that we needed that we didn't have, which ended up in me trying to chop off my pointer finger, but I won't get into that. So, like I said, I'm just gonna show you guys each shelf, kind of go over everything with you point out some notable things that are on that shelf that I do really um, enjoy because anything that is on my shelves now are things that I am glad to have and anything that I think you guys might have questions on I will try to also include where I got them from. Some of those things might not be available and for that I am sorry but let's go ahead and get started because if you've been around for a while if you've watched bookshelf tours they do take quite a while and I would like to not be here for forever and I'm sure you guys don't want to spend a half an hour watching me show you what is on my shelf. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first shelf I have to talk about is actually my Stephen King shelf. This sits on the very top of my shelves. I also have a few little knickknacks here as well, which I will show you. But this is my entire Stephen King collection. I tried to cull it down quite a bit when I did my declutter. A couple of the knickknacks we have here. We have some little Funkos from The Nightmare Before Christmas, which I did get at Hot Topic. We have a little mummified fairy that I got for my birthday one year. Uh, I could not think of a more appropriate gift to receive, frankly. <laughs> and then we have Howl and Sophie, which is another, I don't want to say it's like a Funko, but it is one of my favorite things that I would never part with. The first shelf that I have here on my actual bookshelves uh, houses my plant. This is my favorite plant. It's really hard to kill. Um, you basically just water it when it starts to droop. You do want to clean the leaves pretty regularly, but I love the design on these. And like I said, they're really hard to kill. Over here, I do have some of my favorite graphic novels. So I do have first three volumes of Heartstopper. Um, this is a male male romance. Bloom, which is also a male male romance. This company here, first, second, I love the stuff that they do. I have Pumpkin Heads, Laura Dean Keeps Breaking Up With Me, and Be Prepared from them as well. Most of those have LGBT themes in them. We have Dancing at the Pity Party, which was an arc that was sent to me from Penguin. I actually think, I mean, now that I've read it, um, I'm probably going to pass it along to a friend. Up here, I have my copies of Baka Monogatari, and then also these Star Wars older public books that I have read. I have Revan and Deceived. These are part of the Old Republic series. Moving on to the shelf next to that, we have some of my favorite manga. First things to note here are my crystals. I do have a lot of crystals. Um, I... I genuinely enjoy them and I do believe in some of the uh, properties of them. I have my copies of Full Metal Alchemist. These are the new editions that they did. Uh, Space Boy, which I need to buy the more recent editions of those, the more recent um, releases. I have my copies of Orange, the Complete Collection. I Want to Eat Your Pancreas, which is one of the most beautiful um, art style mangas that I've ever seen. I Hear the Sunspot, which you guys know is one of my absolute favorites. We have my Sword Art Online uh, manga as well. That Blue Sky Feeling, My Androgynous Boyfriend, which you guys know I recently read. 
first volume of Tokyo Ghoul. I would like to collect more of those. And then I have Your Name, again, Dimension W and Bloom Into You. This whole section is very aesthetic and very pleasing to me. Here, hi, you can see me, is a shelf that I get a lot of questions about. This white box that you see, or this white little like house looking thing, I got from Ikea as well as the plants inside of it. I wanted to temporarily have some sort of green foliage inside of here, but obviously I'm not, I'm not really home all that often to keep them alive. Um, so I do have these faux plants from Ikea in there and the lights I got from Amazon. And then here are the crystals that I have. Um, I've collected these over the years. Some of them were gifts and have a lot of sentimental value. Some of them are um, ones that I have purchased. This one is my favorite. If you can tell me what that is, I will give you 10 points. Over here is my like romance and book of the month section. And if you've been following me for a while, you will know I'm no longer supporting book of the month, but I do still have a few books by them that I would like to read. Um, primarily, like I said, I've read a lot of the books that are on my shelves, but I have not read Permanent Record, Gods of Jade and Shadow, or Things in Jars. Um, I will decide whether or not to keep those after I have read them. Um, I have a picture of my boyfriend, Rocco. And then I have some of my favorite romance books. I have Red, White, and Laurel Blue, Undercover Bromance, and The Bromance Book Club, Faker, The Hating Game, My Favorite Half Night Stand, and then we have Roomies, Unhoneymooners, Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, and Autobiography. Those are all from Christina Lauren. Those are my favorites. This is a pot that Rocco got me, and a fake fern because, like I said, I struggle to keep things uh, alive. <laughs> So this next shelf you see here are some of my favorite YA novels. To start it off, this is just a wood board that I got from like a craft store. In here are a lot of my roll-on perfumes. Most of them are from The Little Bookling, and this is obviously from Stranger Things. The books that we keep on here are On the Come Up and The Hate You Give by Angie Thomas, Sock Hill Girls, one of my most favorites, um, Summerbird Blue and Starfish from Akimi Don Bowman, Where I End and You Begin, and Neanderthal Opens the Door to the Universe by Preston Norton. We have a couple of John Green novels. We have Turtles All the Way Down and Looking for Alaska, and then we have a Emergency Contact and Pride. Like I said, these are the YA novels that I really love and wanted to keep ones that really resonated with me or I found absolutely beautiful. So that is my YA shelf. Next to that, we have a very random shelf. So here is my plant and it does go pretty far down, but I have my Don't Be a Prick sign that I've had for forever. A little candle that I got in a fake crate that I need to burn. A couple of my favorite art pieces, like I said, the Don't Be a Prick one, and then this one here. I always take this art piece as like basically being reborn. Um, I have Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng. I have The Witch's Book of Self-Care and The Green Witch as well, and A Lesson in Thorns by Sierra Simone. So this, um, this shelf is pretty simple, but I kind of wanted it to be that way. I think it just has a good feel. Over here we have mostly sci-fi stuff. So obviously I have the book one of Saga, as you can tell by how massive it is. I have the Themis Files by Sylvain Neuville here, as well as Kira's dog tags. Kira is a character from those books, and I got her dog tags for pre-ordering the book. I have The Hidden Power of Fucking Up by the Try Guys, and the Han Solo trilogy, as, a couple, as well as a couple of other um, standalone Star Wars books. And then I have Aurora Rising. The shelf is, once again, also pretty simple, but like I said, that is sort of the overall theme of my shelves. I didn't want everything to feel too cluttered. And this shelf, ignore some of the dead plants in my terrarium. I am attempting to get them back to life, but I have my boys from BTS, and then I have this really beautiful terrarium. It is a glass terrarium, um, but it, it usually keeps cactus really well, but I have been adding other things to it, which obviously they haven't quite survived, as you can tell from this guy dying here in the back. But this cactus is looking great, so I'm really happy about that. And we have Meowth back there in a poke Pokeball, but he is kind of falling apart. For here, we have another one of my favorite shelves. This is where I keep my record player and all of my records. I could be here for forever kind of going over each record and why I have them, but my favorite is right there. Um, it is the Modest Mouse record that I have. We were dead before the ship even sank. One of my favorite bands of all time. I have seen them a couple of times in concert, but I'm glad to finally have a shelf and like a space to put this out on because I do listen to records pretty frequently. Over here... Over here next to the record player is where I keep my series, my Throne of Glass series, and then the Starless Sea is randomly thrown in there, as well as some of my favorite book sleeves. I love book sleeves, especially now that I have a bigger purse again. Um, this series is one of my favorites. I have not read Kingdom of Ash. Once I read that, and if I like it or don't like it, it will. that is when I'll decide if I want to get rid of this series or not. But so far, I do really love the series. Um, my favorite book is Tower of Dawn and then Air of Fire um, in the series. Those two are some of my favorites. 
And then next to that, I just have an adorable picture of me and Rocco when we went to the zoo because I love my baby. Here is where things get a little hodgepodgey. These lights that you see that are coming off very orange on camera aren't actually that orange. Um, I guess they're coming off very yellow. Um, I got those from Amazon. Um, this planter that I have here has all of my cacti in it, as well as some stones from around Rocco's apartment that we have found. Um, next to that, I do have a Honeydukes mug. I'm trying to find something else to keep my bookmarks in, but as you can tell, I have so many bookmarks and this like it's like a soup cup basically is perfect for keeping everything in there um i just need a better way to store them um down here are some of my favorite comics i have uh, roman dirge's stuff i have monstrous fence alice from dream to dream giant days blackbird which i'm not sure they're doing anymore um and then nancy drew in the palace of wisdom which is one of my new favorites i really have been loving the nancy drew stuff right now Moving away from that, we're getting into some random stuff. So I obviously have what I have left of my Neil Gaiman. I have Neverwhere, Coraline in the Ocean at the End of the Lane. Um, I have one of the few Michael Crichton books that survived my bookshelf purge. I have Jurassic Park, which is one of my favorites. And I do have The Lost World further down the line on my shelf. Um, I have the Rainwild Chronicles from Robin Hobb. Obviously, I have the rest of them on my TBR cart, which you guys will see. I have Kill Creek by Scott Thomas, codenamed Verity, which was a gift from Bunny. The Shadow of What Was Lost in an Echo of Things to Come by James Islington, um, a series that I recently read and loved as well. I'm in the middle of the last one and really sad that it's about to be over. That is also at Rocco's house, unfortunately. This shelf is the most cluttered shelf, I would say, but I do have my Google Home um, over here as well. And then I do have my Name of the Wind and the Wise Man's Fear editions. These are beautiful editions, but however, I didn't like the Name of the Wind, so we'll see how I feel about the Wise Man's Fear. If I don't like it, I'm going to be unhauling it. I have my copy of Sorcery of Thorns, which you guys know I loved. I have Becky Chambers' books. I have The Bear and the Nightingale and The Girl in the Tower. Um, I have the third one in hardcover somewhere else. Um, then we have The Wolf and the Whale, 10,000 Doors of January, Empire of Sand. And then I have Nicholas Eames' series, Kings of the Wild and Bloody Rose. And then there is my copy of Winter of the Witch, which is the third volume in the Bear and the Nightingale series. And the last shelf, the bottom right shelf that I have here, has Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda on there. Um, I have Skyward, The Lost World, My Best Friend's Exorcism, and then I have A Big Ship at the Edge of the Universe, A Bad Deal for the Whole Galaxy by Alex White and The Great Alone. Here is also where I keep some of my camera equipment. So I have my lenses and then my lights to the right of that that black pole that you see is some of my filming lights i try not to use them but they do exist and then there's a picture of me and my mama on horseback and i'm not going to zoom in because i was terrified when we took that picture because horses terrify me i also get questions about this corner a lot so i thought i would include it the big art that you see here is from Dragon Age. This is Solus. Let me just pet his bald head. He is my favorite character from Dragon Age Inquisition. Um, this corkboard to the right has a few memories, pictures of me and my sister that is no, she's no longer around anymore. Um, some of the fun things that Rocco and I got to do before quarantine. Um, this right here, I'll actually zoom in so you guys can see is something that Hank Green was doing and is still doing. I re-signed up. But these are really strange, random creatures that exist in the world. Um, and he makes pins out of them. And I have been subscribed basically since he started it. It was a very limited availability for subscription and I was able to get on it. Um, one of my favorite ones is this moth that actually comes from this caterpillar um so this was like a set but i love this and there's the bat which is another one of my favorites and then this which is like a sea anemone it's uh, i don't know it's just really cool but i i love those pins and then to the left of that i have yurio from yuri on ice well she's yuri plasetsky um from yuri on ice i love him he's my favorite character <laughs> and so when i saw this art i was like this is so me and i've had it for almost a year now and it's survived every purge that i've ever had of everything that i own so it's really nice to know that this definitely holds up i got that on etsy i believe i believe no red bubble i got both of these on red bubble and then down here is more random pins. I won't really go through these, but I do have a ton. Um, I have some Stephen King ones. I have some Jacksepticeye ones, some Supernatural ones, um, just a bunch. Some science ones, uh, anime and chill randomly, but I really, really love collecting pins. I'm definitely one of those basic people. And then next to my not made 
messy ass bed. Um, I also have my TBR card and I wanted to clean this up, but then I realized that this is honestly just how I keep it. So these on this are all books that I need to read. So first thing I have lotion because I get very dry. I have a candle from the candle lab. I'm also going to move that out of the way. So this is my reading light. It does bend. It's actually pretty nice. I got it from Ikea. Um, these are some of the Star Wars books I still need to read. Um, Georgia Peach is Another Forbidden Fruit. This is a book. It's a, um, a lesbian book. I do believe it has two lesbian main characters. Cards of Love by Sierra Simone. I've heard some really good things about that. Um, we Were the Lucky Ones by Georgia Hunt. Levius, which is a manga. Children of Time, The Nightingale, Gollum and the Genie, and Sillery Justice and Torn. Like I said, this is my TBR card. So all these books I do still need to read. Moving down from there, things get a little bit confusing. So these books right here, I have behind them also more Robin Hobb that I still need to read. So this is the Assassin series. And then behind it, I can't remember what the other one, Live Ship Traders maybe. Um, and then I have Spell Slinger and Charm Master. I'm reading the second one of this. So this is the first one and this is the third. The other four are behind these or three are behind those. I have Realm of Ash, which is the second of the books of Am Ampa um, series, and I do also need to read that. I have Tethered Mage and Defiant Air. Um, that is also another set, obviously, that I need to read. Like I said, this is my TBR card, so I'm going to stop saying that. Um, Age of Assassin by R.J. Barker, A Boy and His Dog at the End of the World, The Unlikely Escape of Uriah Heap, Fortuna, and You Deserve Each Other. So this is a little bit packed, but it makes sense if you think about it being a series shelf. Down here are the books that I think I'm most excited to read. So I have The Poppy War, The Whisper Man, An Imaginary Friend. Um, these two are from Book of the Month once again. I wanted to cash out on what I had. I have Fried Green Tomatoes of the Whistle Stop Cafe, All the Ugly and Wonderful Things, The Poet X, A Man Called Ove. Um, these two books next to that, the orange one and the blue one, were actually lent to me and I need to get them back to the owner. I don't necessarily intend to read those. Um, Queen of the Conquered, Anna Kay, which is an Anna Karenna retelling, and Jade City. Quite a bit on my TBR shelf, to be honest. So those are my shelves. That is my TBR card. That is my bookshelves. If you have any questions about some of the stuff on them or something I didn't mention, anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. Like I said, I just wanted to kind of get this out there as a resource. I'm not the best at filming bookshelf tours, but honestly, there's not a whole lot going on on my shelves anymore. So I hope you guys enjoyed this anyway, but I love you a lot. Let me know down below how you organize your shelves. Like, is it by color? Is it by genre or author or author within genre? Whatever it is, but I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video.